price of British meat has been declining in the last few years. With the foot and mouth crisis four years ago, farmers are still recovering. Lamb prices are not an all-time low, sometimes only costing £2 a lamb. But what does this mean for individual farmers? Mandy Riley has been sheep farming for 10 years, struggling through the foot and mouth crisis with low profits and hard labour. We got into farming firstly when we moved up from London about 10 years ago. Um, I always um, loved animals, so this was a great chance to um, have all our own. Well, the best bit has to be this time of year when we lamb in, and you get all the little lambs out in the field, and I really enjoy it. And there's always one or two orphan ones that we have to bottle feed, so you just hope that they're going to be all right. But of course, there's no money in farming, we just do it for the love of it. We both, both my husband and I go out to work, we both have other jobs though, because we couldn't rely on the sheep for um, a living. You know, it's uh, it just been possible, there's just not enough profit in it. We were lucky because we didn't actually get foot and mouth, it didn't come very near here, but um, we had to take all these precautions, we had to put uh, disinfectant at the end of the drive and straw so that anything coming on the premises was uh, disinfected and we wouldn't let the postman on or the milkman on, uh, so it was um, quite difficult for a while. But at least we were safe, so we managed to escape it. Well, we'll just keep on forever, I think. I mean, the, the children aren't that interested, but um, but we really enjoy it. So I think as long as we're able, and of course we've still got the land, so we've got to look after that. So if we didn't have sheep, we'd have to either rent it to somebody else or get cows or do something. So I think we'll be here for good. <laughs>